All right. Now in this lecture, we will start writing the Docker file that will build our image. And this image contains all the dependencies and packages that this Python application needs. All right. Okay. Let's start. The first thing we want to create the Docker file. And again, the D is capital without space between Docker and file. Uh, you know that by now. Now let's use any text editor. I will use Vim. And here we will start using the from, but the everything here, the instruction is capital letters. We know that by, by now. Now we will use the Python image, but this time with the tag 3.7 dash Alpine. Now I will make the work directory, which is work dire. I will name it code. Now again, the work dire is combination of make dire and CD. Okay. So we will make this directory, which is the code on the root directory and we will go to it. But again, this is inside the container. By the way, this is something we already talked about. So I'm assuming that you are familiar with it by now. Now we will start putting the in instruction. Now, actually, this is something we didn't talk about, but from its name, it's very simple. Now in it is in the environment variable and it will make environment variable inside your container as simple as that. And I will name it flask underscore app. And actually, this is something within the flask. You need to provide this environment variable so you can understand it. And we will name it app.py. And I will provide another environment variable. And this time it will be flask run host. So flask underscore run underscore host equal and put it to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which means from anywhere. Now, again, it depends on your criteria. If you want it to be a local host, so it is more secure or whatever policy you are enforcing in your application, it's up to you. But this is just a simple Python application. Now I will put this instruction, which is the run at abk at dash dash no cache. I need to the GCC, um, MUSL dev and Linux headers. Okay. Now again, regarding the Docker file, by the way, I will provide you with this file as a downloadable content. Don't worry. But again, I actually, I recommend you to write everything and practice step by step by me. So if, even if you didn't catch up with me, you can just pause the video and write whatever you want and then resume the video. Okay. Actually, it's up to you. Now we will use the copy instruction. Now the copy instruction, this is something new for us. So from its name, the copy instruction, it will copy from external host to the internal container. Okay. Or to this image. Okay. When it is runnable as an instance, when we run a container from this image. Okay. So I need to copy the requirements, the text like this, and I will copy it inside the container. And this time it will be the same name. So copy requirement.txt from the external to the requirement.txt inside the internal container. But again, this is a Docker file, which means it will be build the image. So the image will be built and this file will be here inside this image, which means when we run the container, it will be inside it. Okay. So don't get confused, please. This will be copied inside the image, not the container. The container. Yeah. When we run a container from this image, yeah, by default, it will be there. Okay. So this will be for the image, not the container. Now we want to run this command or this instruction, which is bib install dash r the requirements like this. So we need to install the Redis and the flask requirement from the requirements the text that we have. And this time you can see that the run instruction will be run inside the image or the inside the container, let's say. So, which means the bib install dash r requirements, the one we copied from external to the internal. Okay. Now I will expose this port. Now this is another instruction, which is the expose. Now actually don't get confused between this instruction and the dash p command. Okay. No, no. I know this is the image and these are containers. Yeah. But this expose actually is not a real instruction or doesn't do any action. Actually, this is just for documentary. So actually, if I put it or I didn't put it, it is the same. This is just for documentation. Actually, it worked like the commit. So anyone can open this Docker file. He will know that we need to expose this port, for example. So I will put 5000. Then I will start copy dot, which means everything here. And I will put it there, which means that the path in the container or in the image. And finally, I will put the CMD which is the default behavior, which is flask run. And here I will provide this, 
Now you may ask me, but this is a different syntax or different format from what we saw in the previous lectures. Yeah, actually it has a lot of syntax either by putting this, which is the square brackets or without it actually. So flask run like this. And here we are ready and our Docker file is ready. So you can see that from this image, Python 3.7 dash Alpine, the work directory, we will make this directory inside the container and go to it, the CD to it. And then we will put this environment variable, another environment variable, and this is used for the Flask application. And we will use the app.py, the symbol application we created in the previous lecture. And the Flask run host, which is from anywhere, 0.0.0.0. .0 now I will run this command, add no cache GCC and Linux until we reach the Linux headers. We will copy the requirements, the text file we have on the external host to the internal container or internal image. We will not discuss that anymore. What is the difference between image and container? And we will run the install dash r requirement. And actually the dash r option here is where is the file? I will read from it. OK, so pip install read from this requirements file. And you saw the syntax. It is just the first module or the first package, then enter the second, enter the third, and so on. Then we have this expose instruction, and this is something new, but again, this do nothing, actually. This is just for showing that we will expose the port 5000. Then we have the copy, which is dot, dot, which means copy anything from here or from the current path of the Docker file and send it there to the default path on the container or the image, whatever. And here we have the CMD flask run, which means that if we didn't provide any argument or command, this is the default behavior. So we will flask run the application. All right, so far so good. Now let's save that. And I will see you in the next lecture where we will start defining the compose file. And this is where the action starts. Well, actually, the action started from the first of this of this when we created our application. Anyway, I will see you there. Thanks, guys.